the Daily News in Bowling Green. You know, you guys are back at it after 19 days off and you get off to a hot start. You know, what was the biggest key in that and how important was that kind of setting the tone after the long layoff? Well, uh, coming, into the game, coming into the game, we knew it was going to be different. After 19 days, we knew it was going to be going to be crossed a little bit, you know, but that showed that showed a little bit in the second half. I just, I thought the whole game would play good the first half, but we start, we start a little bit, we laid off the second half a little bit, you know, the first, I think the first 10 minutes we played a little bit bad, you know, I think they, they won the first 10 minutes, but after that, I just felt like we, we came back after the next 10 minutes, we got our groove back and we got the win. I'll just definitely see from WBKL. When the teams are playing zone against you like they were today, is that frustrating or how is it dealing with teams that, you know, putting a big double team and playing zone to keep the ball out of your hands? Oh, it wasn't frustrating. We just got to execute better, you know. Uh, coach is just calling plays from plays, you know. We just got to just, we as a player, we just got to execute. And even though they, um, they know we're going to run the plays, we just got to execute better as a team and just, Find the open, uh, open teammate, open spot, and just and just play. You know, we're, we're gonna play them tomorrow, and I know they're gonna do the same thing tomorrow. So we just gotta come in tomorrow, watch film tomorrow, and just execute as a team. Hey Charles, how's it been? I guess 19 days off. You know, you're not playing any games. Obviously, you want to play last week and got canceled. Weekend before that, canceled. I guess how, how nice was it back on the course tonight? It's apparently at home. Obviously at home too. Wait, what did you say? I guess being back on your home court after 19 days, you know, you know, not playing for three weeks. I mean, how different was that, you know, to adjust and not playing and, of course, get back to playing tonight? It was different, you know, though. So we, we got a little bit fans in here today. Uh, we felt the energy. So, I mean, just it's, it's just a bit the same playing away from home, too. We just, we just want to play, you know. We, uh, just two weeks off coming in today, we felt it's going to be different. I mean, I just felt like all oh, this are going to have to go a little bit tired, you know. I just feel like tomorrow is going to be different. We're going to – going to put in two halves tomorrow and just, just get a win. Hey, Charles. It's uh, Charles Moore from the College Heights Herald. Uh, you got your 12th double-double of the night. Um, that puts you third in the nation. Do you think about those kind of stats, or do you just kind of keep your head down and play? I just play, you know. Uh, going in there, I don't, I don't look at stats or anything like that. You know, I just, I just go in there and play as hard as I can with my team and just do everything I can to just help my team with rebound, block shots, points, and just anything I can do to help my team win. Hey, Charles, this is Jared with the Daily News again. I know you talked about the first, you know, first half of the second half. You guys didn't really play up here what you wanted to. Um, but the second half of the second half was pretty strong. You know, between the under eight and the under four media timeouts, you hold them scoreless. You guys go on an eight to nothing run during, um, you know, around that stretch. You know, what was the biggest key during that stretch, do you think, to kind of close this thing out and create that separation again? Uh, we just felt like, you know, we can we can slip up. You know, we, we did it against Charlotte. We did it against Louisiana Tech. So we can't do like we just feel like we can we can lose this game, you know. We just you know as a team we we talked in the whole and we just like oh, we gotta give a rebound, get stops, and uh, we 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 came out there and we just we did that. And we got to win. Thanks, bro. Win, bro. It's all that matters. Anything else, Charles? Hey, Taya. Uh, this is Jared with the Daily News. You know, kind of the first question I asked Charles after the long layoff, you guys got off to a hot start. You know, how important was that, and what was the biggest key in doing that? Um, you know, since we've been out, this that's what we've been working on. You know, uh, getting better at our games, and you know, uh, just because we've been out, don't mean that we'll come back rusty. So uh, we showed that tonight. Yeah, Tay, like you said, I guess no rust really. I guess you start out hot there. You score the first seven points of the game. You guys are up ten. I guess a nice halftime lead. They kind of came back in the second half there. Charles said maybe a little bit tiredness there if not playing it so long. I guess how can you assess the way you guys play after being back, you know, after three weeks almost? Uh, you know, that was definitely a little fatigue in there. But, um, you know, you got to overcome that. You know, you got a rest of the game to play. And, you know, I feel like some of the guys, yeah, you know, obviously some of the guys, it hit them harder than most of us. But, um, you know, that's what we got our teammates for. You know, the Kyle, you know, he got some good minutes in for us tonight. And, you know, it's all working out. Hey, Tay, this is Jared with the Daily News again. You know, what was it like playing with Davion and McKnight out there in the first half? He has eight assists in the first half to no turnovers. He was, he was passing it. You know, that's what, that's, a P, that's what PG do. So, um, you know, he's looking for his teammates. He's looking for the open guys. You know, he's making the right passes. And, you know, how important was that, too, um, you know, in this back-to-back -back series to get those big minutes out of him, especially early on where you guys – are out some of those players that come off the bench, like, you know, a guy like Jordan and a guy like Kevin, um, you know, who aren't available tonight? 
um, you know, we just got to stick it out for them. You know, we know that they can't be with us this weekend. And, um, you know, we're just going to play for each other. You know, they they the ones that's keeping our heads in it. You know, we all thinking about them, man. You know, they all just telling us you got to play regardless. Hey, Tay, it's Jeff Lightsy from WBKO. How are you feeling as far as, like, fatigue-wise and everything after playing that game and knowing that you got to do this all again tomorrow after having, like I said, those three weeks off? Um, you know, it's definitely going to hit us, but, you know, John, our trainer, is going to get us right with the rehab. So, uh, you know, just it's all about taking care of your bodies and getting your rest. You know, we all know that we play tomorrow. So, you know, I feel like everybody's going home, and, you know, getting their rest. Hey, I think a big thing tonight was um, assists. Obviously, like Jared mentioned, I think 20 assists on 29 made shots tonight. Obviously, he shot 50% from the field, too. I guess when the offense is clicks like that, it helps you guys out, don't it? Definitely a lot. You know, when we just don't have to lay the ball up the whole game. <laughs> but, you know, we got we got some shots to fall. You know, we're going to continue that the rest of the season. One last thing, Tay. It's Jeff Lighty again. Um, Number three and number four were getting shots up. How is it like defending those guys? And what do you think you guys can do differently tomorrow to try to limit them even more than what you did so today? Uh, we just got to watch that film and look over what, what, what we missed. You know, um, now them are good players. You know, they're going to get their shots. But, um, you know, we just got to do a better job at guarding them. Anything else for Tavion? Uh, no, thanks, guys. Hey, thanks.